On the torso model, I want to talk about some of the parts of the brain that produce some of the important hormones. This part right in here is the hypothalamus. It's part of the diencephalon, the lower, below the thalamus. If this little portion right here was extended down a little bit further, that might represent the pituitary gland nicely. The front part is the anterior pituitary and the back part is posterior pituitary. From the front part, growth hormone helps stimulate deposition of bone, muscle, fat. Prolactin is what helps uh, milk engorge in the breast when the lady is getting ready uh, in her pregnancy for the baby. FSH, follicle stimulating hormone, is released from the anterior pituitary and that causes eggs to ripen, sperms to develop and uh, LH is what causes her to ovulate and causes him to produce testosterone. ACTH is a hormone that stimulates the adrenal cortex uh, to produce three hormones, aldosterone, cortisol, and androgens. TSH is released from the anterior pituitary to stimulate the thyroid to produce T3, T4, which is a metabolic stimulator. Unique in the pituitary is the neurohypothesis, that's the back portion, and oxytocin and ADH are produced in the hypothalamus and then released from the posterior pituitary. ADH is a water conserver and oxytocin is a smooth muscle contractor. I haven't really talked a lot about the, the releasing hormones from the hypothalamus that control the pituitary, but uh, they do so through uh, the hypophyseal portal system, which is a tangle of blood vessels that connects the hypothalamus to the anterior pituitary, which is sometimes called the adenohypophysis.